Now it may be that you want to copy a particular layout in your drawing. I've got a drawing open, 07 copying layouts complete. If you want to follow along with the video, as usual, 07 copying layouts.dwg from your working files. Now at the moment we've got the model tab, which is where everything is in the model space, our design that we've created. And we've got the A3 landscape layout tab. We've only got the one layout tab though. Now it may be that you want to put other details on other drawings, but you want to retain this particular layout. Well that's no problem, we can copy a layout very, very easily. All you do is right click on the layout tab and go up to move or copy here on the shortcut menu. You'll then get this weird little dialog box and it is a bit odd because you do have to think about what you're doing. You want to create a copy of the A3 landscape tab, so we tick the box there. Then we move it to the end, so it will appear here, next to the A3 landscape tab. Now, I'm not changing any name of tab here, all I'm doing is clicking on OK. What that will do is it will create a copy called A3 landscape 2, as you can see there, and if I click on it, it's exactly the same. But what I'm deliberately going to do here is remove some of the viewports so that it looks different. So I'm going to remove that viewport there, delete that one, and delete that bit of text there as well, like so. So there's my second viewport that does look a bit different. So that's A3 Landscape 2. Now I can rename these if I want to. So I could right click and rename that tab and call it something like maybe A3 Details. You just click on the tab there. So we'll call that A3 Details, and I'll just remove that text and press Enter. That's just like in Microsoft Excel when you're working on your worksheet. So I've renamed that Layout tab. Now I'm going to go to A3 Landscape again because that's the one I want to copy. Right click, Move or Copy again. I'm going to move it to the end, tick the Create a Copy box and click on OK. And you can see that A3 Landscape 2 has appeared again but right at the end. So I click on it to make it current. And this time I'm going to remove one, two, three viewports like so. And then I'm going to remove the text. I'll just do a quick crossing selection to get rid of all of that like that. So there we go. We've got a different view again. So I'll right click and I'll rename. And this one will be A3 Details 2. So I'll just delete that bit there. Details and then 2. Maybe something like that. Be sensible with your naming of your tabs. Don't make them too long. There's nothing worse than opening up a drawing and you've got 15 tabs that are all about 200 characters long. You don't want that. What you want is nice, short and simple, like A3 landscape, easy to understand. A3 details, it's on an A3 sheet and it's details. A3 details too, it's the second detail sheet on an A3 sheet. Easy to understand, okay? So that's how you copy your layouts and save them into your AutoCAD drawing. Now the good thing is, you can do all of your design work in the model tab and have lots of different layouts here showing all the different details at differing scales and differing views and so on. All in one drawing, smarter and faster in AutoCAD.